Greetings and salutations, rest of humanity and possibly aliens. It's your boy Freak Easy Gaming coming at you with another Fallout 4 Ultimate Building Supplies Guide. And in today's guide, I'm going to show you how to get 40 rubber along with 20 wood and a couple of other goodies like bottle cap mines. So let's get straight into the guide. We all know rubber is a hard commodity to come across in the wasteland, and you basically need it to build anything such as weapons and armor. And if you're really into the settlements, you know how hard rubber is to come across in the game. So the place you guys are going to want to come is here on your map to watch Consumers Electronics, which is located near Mass Gravel and Sand. I'm just going to call this Colgate Administration Building, but we could, it doesn't say Colgate. And then we'll ha we have Kendall Hospital over here, Cambridge Crater, Monsinger Plaza. This probably isn't located here for you guys. Here is Bunker Hill and for people who need even more reference just to help them out because I know some people are really bad at reading the map. Here is Volt 111. Now once you guys get here to watch Consumers Electronics what you guys are going to want to do is sort of come to the front of the building. Now it is not located at Watts Consumers Electronics the things you are looking for. They are actually located at a place called Plumber's Secret. Now, Plumber's Secret, well, is obviously a secret and is an unmarked location on your map. So, when you guys get here to Watts Consumers Electronics, come to the front of the building. It should look a little like this. You know you're in the right place when you see, well, this uh, mailbox, I believe, uh, the newsstand, Nuka-Cola, and this trash can. But once you guys are here, what you guys are going to want to do is run straight over here. Just run on through these little tree lines, sort of towards this red car. And right here is Plumber's Secret. You can see it says hardware on the side right here and you will know you're in the right place. It's actually a nice little location. So what you guys are going to want to do is just walk on up to it and enter Plumber's Secret. Now once inside Plumber's Secret, it should look a little like this. This mannequin is going to be standing up for you. But here is your first plunger to take. There's also another two over here. There's a bottle cap mine. You could either choose to take it or you could choose to shoot it. And uh, bottle caps do appear as you can see. There's a bunch of them. So we're going to take those caps and we got 21 caps off of shooting that. We almost blew our legs off but 21 caps is actually quite worth it. And then you come over here and there's another plunger. Uh, there's also a few items to loot here such as this Abrex industrial grade cleaner. Uh, over here there's a couple of metal buckets. There's some cash registers there's shopping carts there's a cup there there's an adjustable wrench another coffee cup a combination wrench shopping cart shopping cart a safe for you guys to unlock some duct tape and that looks like it's it for this little area and there's a volt tech lunch box if you guys are into that kind of thing but the, there's also some good loot located here like this oil canister this vacuum tube connecting rod tube whatever the hell that is and if you guys come on back here, this is where most of the plungers are located. Now, once you, at first glance, you sort of look around like, oh, there's no plungers here whatsoever. There's also a couple of buff out and some stuff for you to take here. There's not going to be two plungers sitting here. I found these in various locations. One I found right there, and then one I sort of found over there in the corner. And here's another bottle cap mine. Again, you could choose to shoot it or you could choose to take it. I'm going to choose to shoot this one and I got another 18 bottle caps. Come on up the stairs. Be careful for another bottle cap mine that's going to be sitting right here. But once you guys get up the stairs, you will see something a little bit strange. There's also some duct tape and used oil cans in there. So grab those along with another stuff like that and some enamel paint. But you will see two plungers laying on the ground. And once you guys look up sort of at this wall, you will see plungers you will see even more plungers leading all across the wall here. We're just going to pick these up. It looks like somebody literally tried to climb their way across uh, the wall here. As you can see, there was just a bunch of plungers here. It looks like somebody tried to climb away their way across like they used it as sort of a, uh, a climbing method, which probably wasn't the best, which probably explains that skeleton. Uh, where was it? Probably explains the skeleton down there. Dude probably broke his neck and died. There's also a cap stash right here, and if you guys jump over here, there's also a syringe rifle, so don't forget to grab those. But here you go, guys, your plungers, nice and neat. There's a lot of other material here to be looted, so don't forget to grab that. Anyways, it's Bidding Boy Freakies Gaming. I hope you did enjoy the guide. If you guys did, please drop that like, comment, and subscribe. 
It really does help out the channel. Don't forget to check my channel out for all the unique weapon and armor locations and much more soon to come. Anyways, Spinning Boy for Easy Gaming, I love each and every single one of you. I will see you guys right back here tomorrow, and remember, stay freaky.